Hello and good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sora Darchild, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. Last time we took on the Steel Titan Pokemon, took out the Fire Base of Team Star, and just got our fourth gym badge in the Pokemon League, Water Type. So what am I doing back at the uh, auction place? Simple. I got a, there's an item I want to get here that's for my newest teammate. Rotom. So, let's see if I can get this item. Got it. This would have been great for uh, when facing that water gym leader, but I couldn't do auctions before that. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Anyway. Rotom Catalog. Now, which one is the one I want? Washing machine's water. Lawnmower is grass. I think it's microwave oven I want. Overheat, yes. Yes! Electric fire. Good. Now then, now that I gotten that taken care of, it's time to take on our next member, our next crew of Pokemon, of, uh, Team Star. Thankfully, I've filled out, out the entire map, so I know where to go and fast travel. This next Team Star crew is poison type Pokemon. Yeah, I think we should be fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Over there. him again. Soar. Hey, Director Clevio. As I've told you before, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Now, let's pick up our conversation where we left off before. I'd rather not and say, let's get on with it. Member number three. Let's go. And note to self, catch all the available Pokemon in this area later.
Sore? That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Prepare to be raided. I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up all night playing video games. Leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to wake up the others. Yeah? And what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend his base. I owe that man my life. That's my dear comrade, compadre. All right, you villain. If you're after Dun Atticus, his be prepared to face my wrath. Wait a sec. Description is the better part of valor. As the saying goes, wise choice. Uh, no. I was hoping to go in there, but if I gotta fight a kid, much as I really don't want to, the poison move with them poison types. We know, we know. We're doing good, but we can't get careless here. Atticus, huh? Like Atticus Finch? Interesting name for a poison type gym, uh, trainer. Here we go. How bad can this be? Yeah. 
Here we go. Guess Lee's in Hunter. Those are poison types? I thought they were more steel ghost types. Okay, I can't ride my mountain here. Three more. Another star mobile. This one's the leader of the poison brigade. You're a ninja. Pray forgive my sudden edry. Tis I, Edicus. You're that scoundrel sore, I take it. You have some nerve barging your fangs in Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plague into grim poison shall be your well deserved fate. Unguard! Gunk is your first Pokemon? Not but punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague on your house. Okay, he's got more than just two Pokemon. Why do they always start with that move? Hello. <laughs> 
Muck. Ah, the classic one. But let's take a book from a page from the book of all the trainers that annoy me by using a full restore on my weakened Pokemon. That's left is the motor of his car. Somehow I'm poisoned again. And Shadow Ball will do nicely on this. Pass with flying colors. Forgive me, my friends. Forgive me, it took a long time to procure the required materials. Wow, sick! These boots are insane! Ah, yes. The move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of that general I Infernal Irie. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit oak grabs are all wrapped up. Then, thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. So, you're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither accept nor desire sympathy from the unrifled rabble. Oh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. Think, I think you're really cool. Alright gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle hall training, so we're all prepared for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what uh, being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself heart and soul in hoarding my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care.
Sora is thy name, is it not? You have utterly best me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus! M my compadre? It seems this little fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please, hear what I have to say. Only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start do going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? Then, the, when the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything about the from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? That's what I want to know. In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. But their own world, by their own word, they are a recluse. As with a, with the rest of us, would seem bullying as to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face is unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice was to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't ever think think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's terrency and the bullying at the Academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how obvious I've been, oblivious I've been. I believed Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. And that takes care of another Team Star base. As for our next uh, location, is it another Titan Pokemon? Nope, not today.
and we've only took out our third, I believe. Okay. Today, we're going to take on two Pokemon League gyms. Hey there, Sor. That, uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Yeah, I wasn't talking about e talking to you. <laughs> he really likes you. <laughs> Either that or you're hiding a sandwich in your backpack. So that mastermind you were talking about. Cassiopeia mentioned them to me too. Teen Star's founder. The person who caused all kinds of misery at the academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean? Uh, no, I just... Uh, that's right. You need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. And Sora? Don't lose to those guys. I don't plan to. Now then, on to our next Pokemon Gym. What type are we doing first today? Well, it'll be normal type. Now then, normal types are weak to fighting, I believe. That and flying. So we need flying type Pokemon in my party. Let's take out Torkoal. And... Crocodile. No, no, no. The Pokemon I'm thinking of are probably too underleveled for this. Are they? Yeah, Chica's under level. And the other one? Close enough, I guess. That'll have to do, I guess. Now then, on to the Pokemon Gym. Hey, Sor! I saw you going into the gym and came running. Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time we ran into each other. Wait, don't get me wrong. I didn't chase you down just to battle you. Then again, I guess I wouldn't mind a battle or anything if you wanted to. What do you say? Uh... Are you gonna battle me regardless of my answer? Come on, it'll just be like a really short battle. 
I'll only use four Pokemon. Promise. Wait, hold on. I want to be sure to pick the right Pokemon for where you're at in your journey. Sorry. Give me a fine-tuned team. Then we can battle. In fact, while you're waiting, go ahead and take on the gym. Alright, let's get this done fast. What is the test? That means... Ordering a special secret menu item? Specifically a menu item at the Treasury Eatery. Treasure Eatery. A much loved restaurant here in town. Or correctly. Order correctly and you pass. Right now there are three other challengers around town attempting this test. Each challenger has been given a different clue that will help them order the secret dish. You'll be given a clue as well. Please find and battle the other challengers. The loser must tell the winner their clue. Your goal is to gather the clues and use them to determine the secret dish, then order it from the waiter at the treasure eatery. Seriously? Alright, your clue is to find out how the regular season their dishes. Alright, for each clue, I'm going to snapshot that. Encounter them, I guess. Surrounding the, by a dark spot surrounded by stars. Now to find the other trainer. You're just a child. Be at least what six?
What's your clue? The odd one out at one of the ice cream stands. I could use some ice cream as a pick-me-up since I lost. This episode's gonna make me hungry for ice cream later. Now. Where's that third and last gym uh, Pokemon leader? Over there. This might be the most problematic yet. Or annoying. to the blue po bird Pokemon. Blue bird Pokemon. Now I gotta try to piece the clues together and guess what the, uh, thing is. I know I'm probably wrong. Looks like a regular dish. I gotta switch out of the game and look at those clues again. Maybe write them down.
Let's see. How the regulars season their dishes. Dark spots surrounded by stars. The odd one hung out at the ice cream stands. Listen closely to the blue bird Pokemon. I'll come back. Why does it have to be riddle clues? I hate riddles. Don't get this one. weird. Let's see. Was that a hint? Can't just read the signs of the darn things. That's one of the hints. So I just need to guess on the other. Try again.
Okay. Let's try this. Third time's the charm. Grilled rice balls. Medium serving. It's a crispy fire blast style. And a lemon. Guess we passed. Took me long enough. Hopefully if I have enough time, we'll take on the next gym. I'm gonna quickly heal my Pokemon on the way back. Okay, so I have to talk to the gym leader there. am I supposed to be doing? Okay, there we go. Hello. I'm Larry. I'm assigned to work as the gym leader for Mandalay Town. Good job on making your way through the gym test. And well, maybe try the other dishes on the menu too sometime. Everything's good here. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. Let's get this bell over with. Took the words right out of my mouth, buddy! Thank you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service.
starting with the Kamala. a bit weak, but at least you're gonna get a fighting chance. The Dunsparce. The new evolved form of Dunsparce. Holy cow! Raptor. Oh, now he gets spectators on his last Pokemon. Terrestrializing. normal. <sighs> I'm gonna need my starter to wake up.
Don't fail me now. You certainly threw me for a loop. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring my poker face even. I lost, so that means I have to give you a badge, but... That battle made me a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? Okay, on to our next Pokemon Hunt Gym to get our last badge of the day. Another gym leader defeated. Well done. Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer wor worth keeping an eye on. It me it seems she meant you. I had guessed as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. If you manage to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I will be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and... Hey! Hey, Sora! I've got my team all picked out! And I saw you battling the gym leader! You just keep getting better! How good of you to come, Champion Minoma. Uh, it has certainly been a while. Well, wait! With Prisma? With Sore? Why do you call her that? Wait, did I forget to give you the full explanation? Everyone um, calls Ms. Greta the prim Primisma because she's just that. She's the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion! I do indeed hold that claim, alongside my role as chairman of the Pokemon League, that is. I thought you were too busy to spend your time checking on gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I came to scout some rather promising young talent. Wow. Oh. I look away for one second in your famous sword. But hey, I found sword first. You may be Le, Le Primisma, but you can't go stealing him from me. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to get in line. That's right, come on sword, it's time for our battle. Quick, let's go, the bell feels calling. One moment, please. Huh? What is it? I would very much like to absorb this match. 
if that is all right. Let's just make this quick. And I need to heal my Pokemon. Unless they're automatically healed before this fight. Let's just get on with it, please. Flinching. Oh, you're a... you're a dragon type. Ah, fudge, I should have kept the Gardevoir with me. Oh well. Let's see what you can do. Don't 
Terrestrializing is not going to help you. It may a little, but not by much. And I just terrestrialized. Well, let's finish this. that out of the way. Let's hopefully make a quick stop to the last gym of the day and make it quick. As far as I know, my only ace in the hole for that gym is going to be my starter type Pokemon. switch my Pokemon around. I'll do it when I teleport to my next area. Our next gym badge is for ghost-type Pokemon. And the only weakness is for that one, for that type, I think, if memory serves right, it's dark, other ghosts, and fairy.
can I encounter wild Pokemon in this town? I'll find out later. Oh, hello, Sor. How goes their treasure hunt? I figured heard out what you're hunting. Have you figured out what you're hunting yet? That's great. Look at you knowing exactly what you're after. My students choose to take to make Jim Circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here to make sure you know your homeroom teachers got your back. How are you not frostbitten walking around in those sandals? Opening act. Your job is to go up on the stage, show us some um, dead fierce Pokemon battles, and get the crowd excited before the gym leader concert begin. So it's gonna be a bunch of gym battles against the other uh, trainers. Double battles, huh? Why do I keep pressing the wrong button? Now I'm ready. Seriously, how are you guys not freezing up in the mountains? Round two. Thank 
you for healing my Pokemon. A Miss Magus and a, and a Haunter. Small potatoes. against the host himself. A Girth Blimp and Cellulite. Don't destruct! That nearly one shot bones! left now is the leader. The audience are going nuts. Then I'll go back and take on the leader.
This shouldn't take long. I'm not one for doing voice for rappers, so I'm not gonna bother voicing her. Take on the ghost gym leader, Rhyme. Ah, Fonja Mimikyu, really? We're gonna wanna take that Pokemon out quickly. to wrestleize in a double battle? Probably can. That takes care of the Mimikyu. Things can be annoying when you don't take them out quickly. That's the one she's going to terrestrialize, isn't it?
Yep. <laughs> Look at that thing dancing on the mic. Oh boy. <coughs> I thought it was going to go for the Houndoom, but oh well. Down goes both of them. Come on, let me attack. Give me my options, please. I don't want to read all this. Move it. I was really hoping that wouldn't kill her. This is probably going to be the first gen leader to beat me. So long as someone takes down that terrestrialized Pokemon, I'll be happy. I don't care if either of them die. But if both of them go down so quickly, I am going to lose it. God damn it! I 
need a quick claw or something so I can get them done. Thank you. At least one of them is down. I kinda wish I can keep get them banned from repeating that move. You have only one Pokemon out. You can go for one or the other, but you can't get both. So, which one are you gonna get? I thought so. Finish him, Bones. She was so close to beating me, but we pulled through. Another one in the bag. Six batches. Pokemon up to level 50 will listen to me now. And that should conclude today's episode. Oh, it's you again. Greetings once more, Sor. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say... I thought it was a simply excellent... Full marks, gold star, extra credit even. Hardly had you sent out Skeller Surge... Urge for... Before you launched into my, your strategy. That unrelenting def offensive, that fury of flurry of attacks, that what an effect efficient way he to corner the opponent. Dude, she had me cornered.
Okay, that should conclude today's episode of Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you want. Ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sword Archild, signing off. Have a good night, folks.